Hey, what's up? So today I want to give you business update number five for Velociraptor AI, my AI agency building uh, useful automations and software for small to medium sized businesses. So yeah, the last time I gave you an update video was in San Francisco or when I just got back about uh, the trip there and how awesome that was. And I made a whole video basically about like the year long process of working on Velociraptor AI. Um, but now it's like in between the period where I started working on the company and the time where I like actually legit started um, the like PTY Limited at the, um, with the government of the SIPSI. And so this is a good time to give an update video. So, so far in summary, I've done 100,000 Rand in sales over like 100 projects, like little like folders and like coding uh, repos started, several clients, thousands of cold emails, one trip to America. Let's go, let's get into it. Um, so I made that summary video, um, but what's happened since that summary video basically is I've really kind of pivoted what I'm working on a lot to the industrial space. Um, I'm working with a mate and we're actually potentially starting another small little venture, but we're working particularly in the industrial space, working with um, mining and logistics and uh, chemical processing, just because these are the kind of companies that I'm increasingly finding can benefit from a little bit of AI, a little bit of automation the most. And these are the guys where um, a little chat GPT wrapper can make a huge difference. And so, yeah, we've actually been working a lot in the industrial space, which is funny because it's uh, kind of similar to where I was working before at like a logistics company. And yeah, it, is, it was the ultimate vision of Velociraptor was to work in that kind of space. And so it's nice to be finally getting back to it. So we're working on a potentially large contract with a mine at the moment that if it comes through, it's great. It kind of fulfills my goal for the year to reach um, financial runway for, sorry, there's a dog barking here. Hey, shh, shh. We're trying to give a, a proper professional business update here. And so um, if that deal comes through, it kind of fulfills my goal for the start of the year of uh, acquiring runway for the rest of the year by March and then working on SaaS for the rest of the year. Um, I've been trying to, I've been working on agency and client work the, the entire time that the business has been around. And I really wanted to work on SaaS products, on mobile apps, on um, online apps that can be sold uh, through Stripe or something like that, just because of the potential high leverage of those. Um, those industries and I feel like you know, I can build decent software, I can probably build a decent SaaS and I was really inspired by my mates in SF who were building SaaS products and doing so well with them. So the rest of the uh, year we'll definitely be focusing on existing clients, on my existing fintech client, existing mining clients and with this new venture as well as then working on SaaS products and working on building out more and more software and um, just because that's what I'm particularly interested in as well. Um, so yeah that's the that's what's happening and once again um, Deals are not done and uh, contracts are not complete until the money is in your bank account. So those are all still to be determined, but they're looking very good. Um, so to get prepared for building those SaaS products and get, to get prepared to build some of the upcoming projects I need to work on, I've been learning React Native because I've been a view guy my entire life and so now it's time to, uh, to use and learn a product that is uh, really good with code gen tools. Uh, V0, Cosa, uh, Claude uh, 3.7, they're really good at generating React code and so just got to take advantage of that. And so yeah, moving into the industrial and heavy industry space, starting to see some good success and um, really starting to enjoy it. We've been doing some safety analysis and risk prediction work for one particular client that's been going really well um, and that they're very happy with. And it's, it's a pretty simple system actually, but it's having some outsized returns and so I'm really happy with that. Um, but yeah, I've just been trying to land more clients and so building slide decks, uh, doing scopes of work, um, just learning how a slow moving uh, heavy industry and uh, big industry actually works. There's just so many opportunities and possibilities that are becoming more and more apparent to me every day with AI, with the code gen tools, with uh, the internet, with the reach that you can have as an individual with a personal brand that um, it's, it's tough sometimes to decide on what opportunity to focus on. And I know at the end of the day that uh, the only thing that you, ex that you ever win at is the things that you focus on. And so actually like trying to find uh, what to focus on and what to put your full effort into can be tough and challenging as well, where it seems like there's like 50 different directions that a, a young entrepreneur and a young software engineer could go in today and win. In particular with all the AI tools and technology that are coming out every week with MCP and uh, code gen tools, um, like I don't think it's gonna be jobs for a junior software developers in their current form in five years time. And so just trying to stay ahead of that curve as well as my industry is being like increasingly automated away or at least what I thought my uh, industry was going to be or what the jobs um, my kind of degree would work on for the next 10 years would be get increasingly automated away. It's kind of um, scary and like I feel like I'm running just to try and keep up 
um, never mind get ahead with all the technological developments and the way that the industry and the economy is going to change. Um, the code gen tools like Cursor and Windsurf and uh, CodeBuff and Claude Code are getting increasingly sophisticated to the point where I'm still writing code, but I'm doing a lot more architecting of it. Like I estimate I'm probably writing about 20 to 30% of my code at the moment, sometimes even less depending on the project, and letting the rest be scoped out by LOMs. And so, yeah, I've also been doing taxes and annoying admin like that. It has to be done, but I'm really grateful for ChatGPT and the ability to use tools like that to, to help me out and to do calculations because a lot of the tax information is available online, but it's not easy to find it. So having it wrapped up and presented to you quickly and being able to ask questions about, but do I qualify for this rebate and do I need to fill in this form here and that is increasingly helpful. Um, and yeah, I don't know how people are, are learning and uh, how people work before ChatGPT because it's just the ability to learn as something in a new industry is so easy and is so um, useful and I'm just so grateful for it. I'm increasingly trying to work on high leverage tasks as these are more valuable in the long run and um, I've actually said no to some opportunities in the last couple of months um, just so that I can better to try to take advantage of the new tools of the AI wave of like, the increasing leverage that one person with a computer can have um, if they use these tools properly. So yeah, I'm um, just excited to be a part of like the AI boom and the AI revolution and every day I thank myself for leaving my job when I did so that I can focus on um, you know, just being at the forefront of the technology and trying to use these new tools and trying to make something with them and trying to, um, you know, be at the edge of a frontier of knowledge as opposed to learning about it uh, three to six months later in the news. So yeah, it's a really big opportunity. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying being in the arena and I'm just trying my best. Um, I think I also forgot to mention it, but I moved down to the coast here in South Africa, so that's where I am right now. New office, it's been going pretty well. It's been going pretty well for, for work's sake. I've been locking in really well. And yo, come, come here, come here, come here. Ha, ha, ha. Ha. And me and Lola, thank you for watching this video and we will be back with an update in the future. Go get it.